So it's starting and, uh, right I don't now. Know if you want to take a, a shot of some of the yes, this is well, yeah, this this is what I'm also doing. Sorry, Penny. Um, the police officers that died here. Yes. Uh, this young man here, the Sam, we we uh, gave that to the family the other day, a painting of them, and these three paintings. I'll be giving them to the family tomorrow at one o'clock. Beautiful. At the, uh, the monument. Great. And they were yes. framed by your very own Assumption Life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in town, yeah. Okay. Yes. But um, yeah, I can talk about everything and where we've been, who we met, if you wish. Uh, you just tell me when. I can show you. You go. A, a good picture here. We met with the, the Duke and the Duchess, Will and Kate. Yes. That little guy, that's me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. you. Yeah, they yeah. went up on stage and laid a wreath and stepped back and bowed their heads and said a little prayer. And I thought, oh, my God, is that ever wonderful, you know. Um, we got to, my wife and I got to speak to them for about 15 minutes. It was just amazing. The, uh, the Portrait of Honor that's here in uh, New Brunswick tonight in Moncton, uh, we honor our troops by painting the fallen. Anybody who dies in the line of duty in Canada, whether they be military or first responders, um, the first responders, those paintings I give to the family, thanking them for their husbands and wives' service. Uh, the military, well, those I keep, because one day I want to build the first peace operations museum in Canada. Uh, because I feel that from Korea through till today, they never really got the honors that they should have. No. Even though we've got a lot of things happening in Ontario with the Highway Heroes and everything else, it's still not a lasting thing. You know, uh, meeting with the families and they see the painting, they've cried, they've kissed their sons and daughters on the face, my, on my painting. And um, I see and I feel it every day. Yeah. The, the troops, the ones that are suffering, yeah. that we should be honoring. Uh, a lot of them, they just, uh, they're hurting, and they look at this as something rewarding, as something uh, that, uh, you can go right ahead, sir. <laughs> but this is what we do every day. Uh, I travel across the country. The painting, what you see here today, is a copy of my painting. This one's 32 feet. The original is 42 feet long, uh, nine and a half feet high. And um, but the original, they declared it a national treasure in 2011. So it doesn't get out much. It's just too expensive and worth right. too much money. Right. Uh, too expensive for insurance and everything. But uh, I'm going to take a few more. Uh, a few more shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just uh, follow me in. Uh, Explain, keep yeah, keep on talking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, these are copies that I have kids carry in parades, and, uh, but they have to know everything about their soul. Right. So they research them on Google and check it all out and find out. To me, it's an educational thing. Sure. Uh, as well as my flags that you see here. I have 150 kids. With the name of every soldier I road on every one of them. Okay. Um, we painted all of them. We travel with all this equipment just to uh, honor our troops, keep the awareness going for people to uh, be aware of those young men and women that serve our country. They've been asked to go over to countries to help others. This is not about war. This is not about honoring war or anything. This is about honoring our troops that gave their lives and honoring the young men and women that came home. And they should be honored every day, you know. You see a troop, you see an RCMP firefighter or city police, shake their hand because yeah. they're there for us. Yeah. And same as the ambulance drivers, I do those as well because they do us a service that none of us will hopefully ever see, the stuff that they see every day. Um, and, you know, same as the uh, police officers. They see an accident, they're the first ones there, and they have to look at that kind of stuff. It's nasty. So you've got to honor them. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So we travel around talking to everybody about this here and showing them. Uh, a little while ago, about an hour ago, um, Justin was in. His daughter came in, and Justin's on the, uh, on the painting. 
took a picture of her to send to her mom. Really? What we're doing. And there's been a lot of troops here that were with these guys. Uh, and they, uh, they break down a little bit, you know. The painting took me six years to complete. Those two monuments, that was all their names, took me about 426 hours to paint them. Um, on the painting, I have 158 of our troops, soldiers, sailors, and air crew. And I also wanted to show respect to every one of our Canadian uh, that have fallen since World War I. I have 114,484 poppy petals. Uh, on my painting. The painting's been in the U.S., it's been all across Canada about eight times now. And it's also been at the Juno Beach War Museum in France. So I'm just pretty uh, awestruck about what's happened with the people of Canada and how they honor our troops. It's been amazing. Yesterday we visited three legions in this area. Um, up to Shediac and uh, a few others, and they were wonderful. It's, they put on a luncheon for us. When Dale called me, uh, it was uh, a must. We had to go out here from Ontario. It took us a couple of days to get here. Tomorrow we're going to be uh, finishing off here and hitting the PEI for a couple of days of rest. And then we're going to head home back to Ontario for Canada today. Have you been in Fredericton? Yes, I have. We stayed there last night or a couple of nights ago. Uh, were you interviewed by Charles LeBlanc? Uh, no, no, we oh. didn't have any interviews there. We just stopped. Okay. And, uh, because there. usually uh, I subscribe to his channel. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, he's a he's a blogger. A good writer. Uh, he blogs, he does camera yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah, and he asks a question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it takes me 80 hours to do each face. Um, it took me, like I say, about six years to complete the painting. Just under 10,000 hours. I now paint all the, uh, the peacekeepers all the way back to Korea. So I've got about eight different paintings on the go at my studio um, and I've still got a lot more to do because every one of those campaigns there was very little written or done for our for our peacekeepers and that's what Canada is all about is peacekeeping. When I've finished all this and all my paintings are done right back to Korea I hope to build the first peace operations museum in Canada dedicated to those young men and women that serve. And Dave, are you on Facebook, YouTube, are you... Uh, I am. Uh, yes. We're on Facebook, uh, Portions of Water. Uh, I don't do too much myself on Facebook and the emails. I have people working on that for me because it's okay. just too much. When I get in my studio, my head is on my... Yeah, head. yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I yeah. don't do too much reading on Facebook. Or and you have else. fine people here helping you. Oh, uh, yeah, my yeah. wife is with me today and she travels with me a lot and helps me out. They sell merchandise. Uh, that's what helps keep us going. Uh, donation box money goes uh, to a bursary that we have. We, we are a charitable foundation now. So we raise money to help uh, some of the guys that are suffering with post-traumatic stress. Uh, we raise a lot of awareness. We go into schools around Remembrance. Uh, we do a lot with them with schools because education is very important. Very. You know, it's very important. You educate kids that this is not about war. This is about honoring a soldier yep. in your neighborhood or anything. And, uh, and it's, it is very important. We have bursaries uh, set up to help kids go to college, university. And uh, we also do help a lot of young men and women uh, who are helping others. Uh, we, we just donated $1,000 to a, a young man in Kingston who has a gym that he opened to, for the troops. And uh, they can go any time of day and work out. And it's all free for anybody who serves. So to me, those kind of people are important. There's a 
lot of people have committed suicide since the yep. and, uh, Too many. The hope that we can keep it. You know, there have been more suicides than there are in my painting. Yeah. Twice as many. Yeah. And uh, we just hope that we can help and let them know that we do care and Canada yeah. cares. Yep. Well, Dave, thank you very much. And what's your last name? So, S O P A J. Thank you. you can check us out on uh, emails, Facebook, whatever. On um, what is it? On the web, it's Portraits of Water 1111.ca, or just Portraits of Water 1111. Beautiful. You can find us. Thank you very much.